Um, Sheikh, my parents, they say that uh, when I told them like a hadith I saw of Ali that if like something like if the religion was based on intellect then the bottom of the sock would be more worthy of wiping than the top. They and they mostly they use intellect over Quran and Sunnah. They keep saying that in the Quran Allah keeps telling us to like use our intellect and uh, look around and things like this and um, how do I answer this like to use like how do I answer the fact that they say use intellect over Quran and Sunnah? What, what they said is quite true. This is definitely right. The Quran encourages us to ponder and to think and to implement our uh, head in asking and, and learning. And, but you have to be careful not to follow the footsteps of Satan. Because Satan, when commanded by Allah to prostrate to Adam, he used his intellect and said, Mm, this doesn't make any sense. I am better than Adam. You created him from clay and I am, was created from fire. So I am better. Why would I prostrate to him? So he rejected and refused to comply with Allah's order by his intellect, which led him to be eternally in hellfire forever. Now you tell your parents, is your intellect doing the same thing with a straightforward command of Allah in the Quran and in the authentic Sunnah? If yes, well, you might need to reserve a seat with Satan in hell because you're in deep poop, unfortunately. But you as a Muslim have to strike the balance. Your compliance your submission, as Islam is the religion of submitting your will to Allah. Your submission should be only to the Quran and to the Sunnah, no questions asked. And I always give this example when a disbeliever asks you about the beauty of your religion and how you pray five times a day and how you wash three times your limbs, your face, your arms and your feet. For each prayer, and this is mostly 15 times you wash your feet a day minimum, and he, as a disbeliever, doesn't wash his face except once in the morning. So your feet are more purer and cleaner than his face. So this disbeliever is in shock and, 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 and he's, he's amazed by the beauty of your religion and the purity and the clean, uh, cleanliness in it. Then he asks you, if we don't have water, what should we do? You proudly say, we strike the soil once and we wipe our faces and hands. And he said, you wipe your face with soil? Why would you do that? What would your parents say? If they reject this, they're apostates. They're disbelievers because this is mentioned twice in the Quran. And I don't think they would reject it. But unfortunately, they're argumentative. They're trying to refute some of your ideas which they don't like by bringing up the issue of intellect and thinking and pondering. And this is a very dangerous game they're playing and Allah knows best. Away from the